Kaboom. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the AIB Show. This is Amit. And Dominic. You got a fresh do there, Doug. You know, you just got a fresh record this morning or something? I mean, you can turn your mic on. Yesterday. Oh. And you're going to eat while doing the show with us as well, so people can hear you chew? Grape bubble gum. I don't know. What? That still exists, first of all? <laughs> it's so damn good. I'm, here's the problem. I'm it's grape bubble gum. That's the problem. I keep swallowing it. Yeah, but I heard that's not a big deal anymore. Not anymore. Like, it wasn't True, ever a big but deal. But I, th- mentally, I'm still, I think Hold it up. Is. Aren't you the same cat who's preaching to people about eating better and all this kind of stuff, and you're out here swallowing grape bubble gum? What do I always, always how do I sound? My I mean, headset, I mean generally awful. speaking, trashy. Today, sure. all right. Um, what do I always say? Moderation. So I'm enjoying some grape bubble gum. I always say, how many have you had today? Time. <laughs> this guy's in moderation. This guy's got how many? You got the whole pack, have you? No, 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 no. Close. I mean, bro, how many? This, I mean, bro, it's 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 morning. It's not even PM yet uh, on the East Coast. Not about today. Yeah. It's in like the last three minutes. That's the question. I'm. <laughs> Uh, this guy's talking. All right, here, there you go. Your your health correspondent, Dami Delgado. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Never claim that, but you know, I always claim moderation. I'm moderation. Claiming, uh, yeah, sure. State moderation, but yes. Yes. Advise yeah. moderation. <clears throat> um, what you got going on? I've just been literally. I've been. Uh, I've been running around like a crazy person this week. But I did go to an event here in Miami where Elon Musk was speaking. And I'm I'm surprised you went. No, I didn't go to see Elon. I had a conference. He was speaking at said conference. So it wasn't like I was like, oh, my God, Elon speaking. But that's, that was literally my point. Normally, I would have been like, you know, in the past, I'd have been like, yo, it's Elon. Like legitimately, like even like a year ago. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a little more than that. And then now I was quite the opposite where I was like, oh, it's Elon. And then as he was speaking, first of all, he said nothing of any value, which is weird i mean does he ever though well so that was actually my next point i mean he does say stuff of value if you are if you're trading um so you know where to go or what to do and have the market react to elon speaking about elon but it was just it was all like but again is it something of value or is it something he says and if you're not eligible you can use that to your but advantage. that's what value is right no using to your advantage is value if i'm taking value from what you're saying independent of what your intent was no but I'm that, that's value different from he's not saying anything valuable you know how to so what is valuable if i give you if i give you a thing of gold and you go oh my god i got gold but you don't know how to sell the gold it's not valuable but if i give you the gold and it's something to do with it so the value is determined by the person receiving the item no the or value information. It, no 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 the value you go to school gold, all right dude. school you go to school you, get, you go gold. to school and you get a degree oh, hold, on, hold on hold on Look, the value to your example the value is the gold it, it matters not if no it does no it doesn't matter if i can't do anything with there's this an gold, intrinsic value to gold value, yes. but what am i going to do with it where's the value in the gold that i have i'm it starving if, if no, you're a good i'm on an island and i'm hungry as hell and i got a thing of gold where's the value in the gold is the gold actually valuable in that scenario? No, not in that scenario, but the gold is valuable. No, but it's not. The gold, the gold is, is only valuable, valuable if you can trade the gold. We, we, yes. Yes, gold that's my point. So if I can trade the information and find value, then it, it is may in not fact be valuable, valuable for you in that moment, but I it's don't valuable. Care about me. I don't care about nobody it's, else. It's Why valuable. Would you? No, but that's everybody. Value is value. But that's is, like saying, that's like saying, okay, I've got a suitcase full of diamonds. You don't like bling, so it's not valuable. Don't take no, it. No, no, no. If I can sell said bling, it is going to be value. If I cannot, if I have a suitcase full of diamonds, to your point, and I'm stuck on an island, and I'm hungry, and so got no I, value. If I, if I come up to you and call you and say, yo, Puff. And I can use that to make money? That's valuable. And if I can't, then that's just dominant. No, but hold up. How are you? Hold up, hold up. Hold up. We got, we're we're going to go down this path a little bit here. How are you not understanding what I'm saying? I'm confused by I mean, this. I, I get what you're saying, but I still don't say because you have an ability to do something based on something foolish somebody else does. I don't find that va- he's not saying something valuable. But he literally is. Because no, I you, you are, no, no, no. But it's not valuable. because It is. It is valuable to me. That's different. It's no, not it's valuable. not. Hold up. I use the word no, valuable. No, because, because again, with your logic, you're saying gold isn't valuable if you don't know how to sell it. That's no, no. patently yes. false. If you can't it's trade, valuable. if you can't garner, the reason gold is valuable is because somebody, it's because, first of all, all right, in all general. Right. I'm giving you a pair. I'm giving you a pair of, um, let's say, uh, 
if you're going to go another another tangible object that has innate value yeah. in our current society, we're going to go down the same circle again and yeah, again. Some and Union again. Jack Four Jordans. I'm giving you a pair. I know you don't know how to quickly sell them or flip them. Or no, no, I didn't so use them quickly valuable? at all. There is innate or, or value because properly. somebody will purchase. Somebody can somebody can give me money for this item. At some point, there is a market for this particular item. Hence, somebody the value. can always give you money for gold. At Not some point, on an island. No, you said at some point. You no. just said that. No, if I don't get off the island, it's irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, what island are you stuck with gold? <laughs> no, just, uh, the example is, hold up, hold up, hold up. Forget it. We're lost Robinson in the over here. No, I mean, come on. I have, if you tell me something and it has, and I can use that information to garner financial or other value for myself, health, finances, whatever it may be, there is value to me in what you've said. If you, in fact, say something that is stupid for everybody in the world and nobody finds any benefit, then that is a dumb thing. I.e., if you go to school and we go to school and we list, you sit in class and I sit in class. I come out and I get a job and you go, that class was, was pointless. And I go, hold up, I find value in that class. So I utilize that same information. We, we took the same information. I find it valuable. You did not. Point being, Elon can say something and it can be of value to somebody and completely pointless to somebody else. Yes? Are we in alignment there at least? Yes. So going back to what I said originally, are you, you're still shaking your head. You're I mean, still not I, buying I, the okay, argument. Let, let, let me go beep, beep, beep. Back it up. Yeah. I guess it's, it's, it's a nuanced thing. And I, I'm, I'm, I just don't find it valuable if somebody has an ability to say, well, this guy said, talked about a, a shit coin. And I realized, well, oh, because he said something, that the market is gonna. I don't. It's not valuable. It's your be. You're knowledgeable. He's not valuable. It's not valuable. You're knowledgeable and knowing what market reactions are going to occur. It's not. It's not a. If in a vacuum, what he's saying is not valuable. But in a, we went, conversely, on. gold you, is always valuable. So I'm no, going to disagree. No. Yes. How is gold? It valuable? doesn't matter if in gold. A vacuum. If, how is if, gold? If you're valuable? sitting on your little island, right, yes. with your little rowboat. And uh, one palm tree, and you mm -hmm. have gold. Mm -hmm. It's just not valuable. It's it's still valuable. It's not. It's not applicable. It's not usable to your advantage in so that what moment. What is its value? It's if not. You die with all this gold around you, and I'm bathed in gold and showered around, but I ain't got no food. Is the gold valuable? It is valuable. It's not to useful. Who? There's a difference. It will always have value. Val it's not yeah, but useful. not to me. In it's not because, useful. Okay, I'll take a step back. No, it's not about valuable to you. I'll take it a step has back. its own value independent of you. No, but it doesn't. It's only it, garnered it value. No, it's, the value but is it, only garnered but, because but of the gold market. Gold sets at a certain price. Right, so it has a value. But there's no market if I'm stuck in this island. That's my point. I no, don't have access to any market. There is a market in general. There's not. A, it doesn't apply to you. But that's because, what I just said. You just said the vacuum of Elon Musk, right? <laughs> and if he said this thing in a vacuum, it would have no value. And I get you. I'm agreeing with you there. We don't live in the vacuum. Just like the gold example doesn't exist either. Point being... Him saying something which is not in a vacuum can be utilized by somebody else to garner wealth, therefore valuable to that person. Using any information out there. Case in point, you can read the journal, the trades, and everybody's calls, sitting on, 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 on annual reports, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and you can get nothing out of it. And somebody else who's a lot more savvy in the market can go ahead and go, ooh, and play the market probably to attain value. Are those meetings, the, 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 the quarterly calls, annual calls, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, of value? You're a friggin' moron. <laughs> <laughs> now you're holding your stance, but you know you're agree wrong. Agree to disagree. You cannot agree to disagree. You got to just, <laughs> no, uh, just yes, eat it. Say so you're wrong. No, because I'm eat coming it. back to when you flip it back to the gold on the island, it's valuable. But I, hold, I brought it to a different it. example. I brought it's it like, to the okay, you're stuck on an island with a, with, a, with a TV, and you're telling me it's not valuable because you it can't use it. It is valuable. How is it valuable if I can't? Because There's no market for it. something. Value is determined. Fine. Okay, hold up. For, hold up. Take a step back. By Take demand, value. but you're, you're talking about just the demand of you, one, stuck on the island. That's why there's no value. But there so is hold value. Up. Hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're talking about financial value, yeah? Yes. Okay, so by the default. value for that, specifically financial value. Okay, yes. if there is no financial value, i.e. no market, whatever asset I may have is irrelevant. I could have my iPhone on the island with no signal. The damn thing is pointless and back you're dead. Now what? The iPhone worth itself is worth bucks. a lot of money. Worth a thousand bucks. <laughs> it is not, is my point. But it is. It you is just not. can't use it. That's but, the point. But, but it's not like it's worth one. So what is it worth? One dollar? It is worth you can't zero. Use it? 
Yeah, I'll get out of here. Of water in it is oh, more than one more. And then when the, when, water, when, 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 when the U.S. Navy water. shows up, uh, you know, <laughs> the sailor's going to rescue. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, it yeah. shoots up in value. What am I going to first? Hey, it can I get a charge of my phone, or yo, can I get a glass of water? Right, where am I going first? Oh, so I, let me guess. The water's worth a thousand dollars. The water is definitely worth a thousand dollars. You're right. I will give you my iPhone for the water. The water is worth a thousand dollars in your example. The water is worth money. The iPhone is not. Okay. Agree to disagree. You cannot agree to disagree. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, speaking of <laughs> disagreeing, have you heard of Missouri Senator Mike Moon? I do not know. No, I don't. I mean, maybe I do. Continue. I don't know their name. Um, so he is the sponsor of a bill restricting transgender care for kids. However, he voted against a bill that would um, seek to increase the age for child marriage in Missouri. If I you understand the way I'm phrasing that, would no hold on. The I'm bill would have increased the minimum the age, okay, age for child marriage required. Gotcha. gotcha. He fought against that. Yes. Right. Um. So someone said to him, "I've heard you talk about parents' rights to raise their kids how they want, right? Mm -hmm. You voted no on making it illegal for kids to be married to adults at the age of twelve if their parents consented to it. He responded, do you know any kids who have been married at age 12? So when he said that, I thought he was going to be like, no one does. So it's irrelevant. He goes, I do. <laughs> and guess what? They're still married. <laughs> so Hold up, this guy's argument was, <laughs> I thought he was going to say, you never hear of that. Like, do you know of any kids? You never hear of that. So why are we talking about it? He goes, I do. Like basically he was saying, you can't talk about this. You don't know anybody like this. I actually do know somebody like this. I mean, the, he's come the, back with backlash later and said, I wasn't defending pedophiles or, or children married or younger, but, but I mean, you literally are. Yeah. Yeah. You literally are. It's, it's, it's wow. I mean, yeah, you, 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 you literally are. And then there's, there's this one thing that I'll see. Hold up. So a couple things, right? First of all, I have legit almost, I almost don't go on Twitter anymore. Because, like, it just ruins my day. The frustration levels ruin my day. But I think yesterday, blue check marks went away, I think, for a bunch of people, a lot of people, mm -hmm. everybody. Right? Yep. Did you buy your check mark? Come on, bro. <laughs> but there's value in it. There's value in people knowing me. <laughs> that I'm the real me. People I'm don't even, me. people don't know the fake or real me. Like, what is the value in that? Bro, fifteen now Instagram has it too. They follow. Yeah, Instagram has had their check mark for. A, I mean, it's, it's inevitable. Pay. No, it just this year you can. You can. I think it's like nine bucks on Instagram, fifteen on Twitter. I just. Or I don't get the value in paying for it personally, but again, the best I don't, was LeBron. I don't have well, LeBron evidently it. has it, so I don't know if they gave it to him for free. But the best was like his Twitter. Like, yeah, he goes. Yeah. Oh, guess I'm losing my check. Yeah, because <laughs> yesterday, like Ricky Gervais lost his, and I think Ben Stiller lost his, and they were like, "Nope, still me." Right, like it was one of those kind of things. But what's the? Yeah. I, it, it loses its oh, value, um, because you can just pay to get it, right? Are they actually verifying so who you so are? Here's a, here's this phone. Are you actually it. So, do they so, actually verify so, it is LeBron? I'm tell you. So Elon, that's part of Elon's argument against getting rid of it. He said they were just doling out checks all willy nilly, right? So what he said was we had to correct that because there are a lot of people who got checks who should not have received checks, right? based on favoritism, based on whatever, and so on and so forth. So <clears throat> he said, now, when you pay for it, you have to put a credit card up there for that. So by default, we are now ensuring that this is, in fact, the person associated with the card because now there's a monetary value to it so you can cut out the bots who have been creating situations and getting faux checks and so on and so forth. So that's his argument against the payment option and why he's pro paying for it, right? And his secondary portion was there was one check mark, whether you're a government entity, whether you're an individual, whether you're a business. He goes, now we're categorizing check marks. So we'll have one color for government, one color for business, one color for individuals, so on and so forth. So you can categorize things a little better to help people find stuff. 
So that was his that was his pitch on that, right? Now there's some semblance of, I don't know if logic's the right word I would apply to it, right? But I, I can kind of understand where he's in. But in that same note, if he's saying it's not about the money, then you charge me a penny and you have my credit card that's anyway. That's where I was going to go. Yeah. yeah, you ain't need my $7. Like that's an arbitrary number to throw out there or whatever the number is, I don't even know, right? And then you can't just give these things away, which by the way is as well, which is there. Um, I'm reading a text from Dave. Uh, it was really it was really dumb to end blue checks. It was aspirational for users. People created a huge platforms on Twitter chasing a blue check. It's also true because again, it had value, right? According to Dominic, doesn't, but it had value. People would chase this stuff down and they would build markets from it and so on and so forth. Well, because Dominic doesn't understand the concept of value versus. <laughs> I mean, I mean Dominic, Dominic doesn't understand there's value in information apparently. Yeah. So school apparently for Dominic is a complete waste. Yeah. There's no value. Uh, yeah, piece, I mean, we can go down your, that path. Where's oh, oh, where's your diploma, by the way? Speaking of school, in well, now no, because remember, I I don't have my office anymore. Are yeah. you not in the closet? No, you they wouldn't give me the closet? closet. I thought I updated. No, they yeah. they. That's a whole other thing. They took away the closet. So you took away so, the office. So you don't want to hang it in your cubicle? No. So I think it's in a drawer at at work. All right. Where's so, your okay. diploma? Mine is under. It's in a it's in a box someplace. I saw it recently. What do you need it for? My diploma? Yeah, why don't we Zero. get rid of them? Zero. We should. I've never I've never put it out. It's never been framed, never been anything. I used to just... I used to have when I had an office at home and the office at work, I always had it out. But never had it out. Just why do we have it? Because they feel like you need to have something it's, tangible to yeah, showcase it's, the it's, fact it's, that you it's a mental thing. It's, 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 it's like hoarding. We don't need that shit. Why does anyone need a diploma? <laughs> I'm reading Dave's text. Sorry, so Dave just posted. Are you reading this? So Dave is commenting on Facebook because we're live on Facebook right now, and he goes, "People, people out of the closet equals dumb. Not out of the closet equals Tom Cruise." <laughs> <laughs> well, well played. Well played. That's funny. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Yeah, sorry. You ever had a, you ever had a tooth pulled? Mm, I had wisdom teeth extracted. Does that count? Fair or enough. No? Yeah, I had my wisdom teeth. Um, I had a tooth pulled this work this week, but I had wisdom teeth when I was at uh at UM. Uh huh. And they did all four at the same time, same. which I guess a lot of people say you do two and two. Nah, but no, by the fourth it's one, done. The pain had worn off the painkiller, the numbness, and they wound up sawing the tooth and then sawing it again. Like it was horrific, and you were pseudo awake for this. Well, I was fully awake because I'm telling them I can feel this, oh. and I'm yelling at them. <laughs> Your mom no, wasn't there to fix that. Uh, no, my mom actually took me. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> Yeah, she took me. She took me to Smoothie King after. Oh yeah. my god, that's amazing! That the fun, is amazing. Here's the funny thing. So my mom. That took was me to a do funny that. thing, actually. My mom took me to do that. So as I went this week to get my tooth put, I thought exactly about that. I was like, "Hmm, is, do people not usually drive you? Why did my mom drive me?" Uh, <laughs> when I was in no, to no, get my no teeth they're supposed to drive because at that point you go into like proper, not not full blown anesthesia, but you're pretty groggy. You're not supposed to drive yourself okay. home. All right. You're not supposed to drive yourself home. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think I did anyway, because when I did mine, uh, but because I did mine uh, here in Miami back then as well. Hold up, but why'd you get a tooth pulled? So, look, I'm pretty damn good teeth. I've been, I've been genetically not. blessed. You got one pulled. No, look, 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 that's not. I've been yeah. genetically blessed. Um, you got braces, son. I braced for 14 months. That's different from the teeth than your orthodontics. I'm talking teeth, health of the teeth. Look at those. Health of the, uh, health of the teeth. <laughs> Right, he's odd, he's missing a tooth back there, but yeah. Um, but right before COVID happened, I noticed a little like black dot on my tooth. And remember, it's I've been decades of chewing Jolly Ranchers and blow pops all day, you know. It's the man uh, just swallowed a bunch of great bubble gum. Uh, and I saw it, and then I saw it getting bigger, that's what she said, and then it kept getting bigger, and I just ignored it. Even when I went to the dentist, they tell me about it, I kind of ignored it, and then. Yeah, I wound up getting a hole in the tooth, and then stuff getting in there, and then the pain was the worst pain last week I've ever experienced in my life. I've had a lot of pain. I was gonna say we've gone through since we've, we've been doing this podcast. Pain. All yeah, you've had been, in your body is pain. Yeah, yeah. Your foot didn't work. Your leg in bed in weird ways. My ass. Your ass situation. <laughs> now your teeth, like it's just working its way up. Yeah, 
But that that ner- oh my god, yeah, that was hard. So I had to get that pulled. So they're putting a fake one in. Uh, eventually. Like so now you've got a gap in your tooth. Yeah, in the yeah, back. I, I see, I'm smiling. You can't see it. No, no, but I did see in the back when you did the osseous. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, off to the yeah. I, oh God, right by the molar. All right. Yeah. Um, but they're expensive wow. as hell, dog, to replace. Yeah, that's why a lot of people have gaps in their teeth. Get a gold <laughs> one, son. Yeah. Just yeah, get a gold one. It's got value, man. Just put the gold no. one, and you're good for a long time. Do books have value? Depends. All right. A Texas like County. I, I don't know if you pronounce it the Spanish way or the Gringo way. Llano County, LL, or Lan, Lan, Lano County. I don't know how they pronounce it. I've never it. Even heard of this county, so I'm going to go Lano, just I'm going to guess, Lano. I'm gonna I'm guess a, it's the hard what? L. Lano County, yes. Texas. Uh-huh. Ways closing li- local libraries after a federal judge ordered banned books be returned to circulation. Well, that's happening here in Florida too. So they've decided they're 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 working on potentially just closing the library in general. Well, that's okay. The, the 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 idiocy has gone to a, to a, to an extreme by way of book banning, etc. Right? Because even here, I mean, here in Florida, it's just crazy, right? Across the board with the amount of book. Because again, only one person. I, I don't know was in Texas, but over here, just one person has to file a grievance, if you will, against the book, and then it can be pulled for being quote unquote insensitive. So I'm actually amazed. That nobody on the on on any side, especially the atheists, have not come out and say, I find the Bible offensive. I'm waiting for that one, and I don't know how it hasn't happened yet. Because I want to see how this thing plays out. Right? Because it is shocking that they haven't. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. So this always gets me too. But right? also are, are, but, are Bibles at libraries? I'm gonna go with yes. I don't know the hundred percent sure, but I'm gonna know. go They're yes. Still in hotel and I'm also gonna go in my hotel room last week. But it's also not a banned book in schools. Are Bibles right. in schools, public schools? Where? No, no. I'm saying you can bring a Bible into a school, and there are there can be glass. I'm sure in Florida there are Catholic schools, etc., that have Bibles. One would assume, right? I'm pure assumption because I don't have any kids in school. Public schools? I'm very not even know people teach in public schools in this damn state anymore. With with the the the, the just all the idiocy coming out of the state, I have no idea what anybody even teaches in the school in these in these in these classes. You tell me. Your kids go to school. Is there a religious studies class? Yeah, they go to private school. Because so, th- these rules don't apply. Okay, I'm, I'm at a loss. I'm assuming <laughs> that's a book. No, I literally am at a loss. But I would assume that there's a Bible in the library. Like, that would just make logical sense to me. At a public library? Yeah. It's, I, I don't... I don't like that high-pitched. Yeah. Google it. I, I don't even... Is, is there a library in area that you're familiar with? Yeah. Can you, can you look up books in the library? Bible? Yeah. You do that while I mention this. Because okay. uh, on the Facebook live chat, premise throwing out suggestions feels left out. DeSantis first Disney some more. Did you hear his comments this week about potentially what they may do there with the, the in the district? Yeah, the Bible's in might be a public library system. Continue. Yeesh. Okay. A lot of versions actually. All right, let's do it. Let's file a complaint. Ooh, can, can I don't know how to do that. Neither do I. <laughs> we should. I swear. Oh, you got kids. You can get away with it. I can't. No. Mm. Yeah, because I ain't got no kids. It's a little different situation. You got to say it's not. How's it different? Kid. I don't live in Miami. You think that matters? Listen, Use my address. So then what? You think Use the having address. kids matters? What's the yeah, difference? Yeah, no, because so some of this stuff is that it, it's bad for my youth. That's why I got to take it to the library. Because no, it, some it, of these it's people conditioning take kids. causes that they, they, their kids are grown. doesn't even matter. It's bad for the youth, not my youth. The oh, youth. Is that what it is? Yeah. All right. We're going to put a pin in this. We're going to research this because I want to file a claim against this. But yes, DeSantis versus Disney. He, I mean, he was flippantly saying, but maybe we'll build a prison next to them. Like, that's, maybe he's a friggin' moron. Yeah, that, that, that's what you need, more, more. Well, not only that, but hold up, here's the other idiocy around that. You, even, even the claim is so buffoonishly foolish because the livelihoods of thousands of Floridians, by the way, right, um, are tied to Disney, number one. Number two, that whole area and the real estate around it, significantly valuable, again, thanks to Disney. You throw a prison in there, you F up the entire Orlando economy, not just Disney. And you're trying to tell me that your voters, you're like, hey, my bad, go for it. Because what I tell you about everything, if it affects my pocketbook, it's a problem. And so when it starts affecting people's pocketbooks, it's going to be a problem. So the man is just an idiot. Well, the man's, take that back. The man is hungry, power hungry. And I think he's, a, I think he's brilliant, actually. No, he's power hungry and he knows what, and, he, and he gets away with stuff. So, yeah, I guess in that sense, he is. Definitely not an idiot. I think he's brilliant. Well, I'll say the next part of that, too. Is <laughs> That's the scary part. 
Well, hold up, but everybody, okay, everybody give this man a lot of credit for being for being smarter than because Trump. I think all these stuff are calculated moves. Where's he? Knows I don't exactly understand. what he's doing. It's not like Trump, where it's just I think of something, boom, I just do it, I say it, I do it. These are calculated moves. See, but, but here's exactly okay, but here's the, okay, but you say all these calculated moves, and then I look at the actual just general governance in Florida. In the past couple of weeks, you've had ridiculous flooding, right? I'll even say months. You've had ridiculous flooding. You've had literally entire counties drowned by ocean water. You have gas shortages throughout South Florida, right? You have insurance rates skyrocketing. You have real estate rates, I mean, uh, uh, rental rates, et cetera, skyrocketing and nothing being done. So at some point, do you think people get remotely smart and say, hey, this dude ain't looking out for us? No. That's so sad and true. I believe the same thing. Hold up. So Prem is saying Florida is a flood zone. True and false. Florida is a flood zone. When there's a hurricane, one can assume that. Poor drainage and infrastructure is the, what I'm talking about. That's what you have to address. You can't build another condo in an area that you know is going to flood, which, by the way, is happening all over Miami right now. Right? And take that back. That you can't. They are. But they shouldn't, is my point. You should probably address the drainage when you're building said crazy condo because this will happen. You can't have the situation where every time there's a rain, you got to shut down downtown. That is foolish. But that is a version of what's happening right now, right? So that, to your point, Bram, is the infrastructure thing you got to, right? You got to have addressed. So while I do agree with you in the fact that it is a quote unquote flood zone because we are a peninsula and where there's water all around us, many things have to be addressed. But also in that situation, the insurance aspects have to be addressed, right? So if you're going to put a caveat and a cap on insurance claims for people, uh, for insurance companies providing uh, flood insurance, et cetera, now all of a sudden you have, you're flooded out or whatever, you're not going to get the value from it, your house is buried. And now what? Now you've lost all your, all the money you put in this stuff. And to Dami's point, Governor Santos still stays around. Yes. And also going on in Florida, state lawmakers are pushing uh, essentially witness intimidation legislation. Uh, Senate Bill 1126 and House Bill 1539, which I have not read either of them yet. The nerd in me usually does. I have not read them. But I've read that they um, essentially protect officers. These bills... Uh, make it are seeking to make it uh, illegal to film police, like get within 20 feet of them f and record them, which would have prevented, say, the lady uh, Darnella Frazier, I think, from recording George Floyd's death. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yes, 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 yes. I saw that. You know, and these these bills essentially are like an attack on communities, poor communities, communities of color. Um, this makes law enforcement less accountable. You know, because look at how much we've seen now with people filming stuff. Yeah. And getting up close. And I've also seen a lot of things which seemingly were potentially prevented because of people filming stuff, you know, um, which de escalated situations. Well, oh, God. Um, I got to jump. Oh, work just happened. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> it's been real. We'll talk soon. Sorry about that. That was very abrupt. I know Dominic watching out on the Be well. note. My bad. Sorry, I'll talk soon. <laughs> Bye.